chapter 15. Obviously, I don't sleep after that. I sit up in bed, chewing my nails, staring out the window until the sun comes up, until I hear a strange noise downstairs, like a whispering through the walls. The sound persists, and I lean forward, ears straining. This house is full of noises. I tiptoe down the stairs. It could be the tiger, and if it is, I have to accept her offer, even though I'm still not sure, even though I'm afraid. But there's no tiger. When I reach the bottom, it's only Mom and Helmoni, sitting in Helmoni's bedroom with the door cracked just barely, talking so quietly that their words are a slush of wisps and hisses. Mom says, nobody's offered yet. I'm still looking, but it's all happened soon. I'm hopeful. You getting job will be good, Hamoni says. That is good for you. Good for us, you mean, Mom says. Good for you and the girls. Don't do that, Mom says. Her voice cracks and I can barely hear her. We have time. I can buy more time. No, no. You don't worry about that, Hamoni says. There's that scolding tone in her voice. The one she always gets when she talks to mom, but there's something else too, something softer. And don't go make, <clears throat> excuse me, and don't go make that worry face. You're going to get wrinkles. Mom, you wearing sunscreen? Sunscreen help with wrinkle. Mom, what about hat? Hat help you. Mom, I don't need a hat. I need you. Mom's voice breaks. When she speaks again, her voice is quiet. Please just try the other treatments. Don't give up. Treatments, hospital, hospitals, buying more time. An understanding settles in my gut. One I can't quite put into words. The softness in Helmoni's words evaporates. You think I just give up? No. I don't want to go. I don't want to leave you. I'm not ready. But I don't get to decide. The only thing I could I decide is how I be right now. So you don't take that away from me. I've never heard Hamoni sound so angry. She is strong and fierce and kind. But now she's different. There's a scary side of her, like there's a tiger hiding just below her skin, straining to get out. I hear another strange sound, and it's so out of place that I don't rec recognize it at, at first until I realize Mom's crying. But Mom never cries. Joanne, Hamoni says quietly, you be strong for girl's sake. My stomach twists. I shouldn't be hearing like this. I shouldn't be hearing this. I don't want to hear this. I can't do this, Mom whispers. Not again. Not after Andy. I can't be strong again. I know you can, Hamoni says, because you are my daughter. I take a few steps back and up the stairs, cloaking myself in the shadows. Hamoni's illness must be really serious if Mom's crying. I wish now that it really was the tiger downstairs, because the truth is, this is scarier than any tiger. When mom eventually comes out of the bedroom, I automatically call on my invisibility. But then I change my mind. I don't want to be alone. I shift my weight and went upstairs, creak beneath me. Mom looks up. Oh, she says. And when she says, she sees me. Oh. Very quietly, I ask, is Halmoni okay? Are you okay? Mom's eyes are still red. Did you hear us talking? When I don't answer, she opens her arms and I run down the steps. She crushes me into a hug. And as she takes a breath, I feel the shudder in her lungs. She's going to be, don't worry. Everything's going to be fine. <sighs> then she straightens up, pulls herself back together. 
Would you like some tea? Some breakfast? I'll make whatever you want. I want to know what's going on. I try to sound strong, but my voice is very small. Mom fiddles with her glasses. How Moni's sick, Lily. But we're still hopeful, okay? I'm looking for a new job, so that should be bring in money for special treatments. And even if we don't do those treatments, we'll... We can keep her comfortable. What kind of sick, I ask, even though I already know it's the bad kind. Mom grimaces, then pulls me over to the couch. I thunk down next to her, sinking into the, into the cushions. For once, it isn't raining. Happy sunlight spills through the windows like the weather is mocking me. Mom says, Homomoni has brain cancer. For a few seconds, my insides go ice numb. I can't feel anything except for cold and a strange tingling. Lily, did you hear me? I keep very still, as if I can hide from the pain as if the truth is a tiger, and if I don't move, maybe it won't find me. Honey? Except I guess I can't hide for long, because that strange tingling turns jagged like broken glass. I nod my aching head. I try to say it out loud. Brain cancer. But I can't. Mom continues, that's what's causing the symptoms you might have seen. The nausea, the paranoia, and all the, well, sometimes with this type of illness, patients can have hallucinations. Hallucinations. This is a lot, I understand. I want you, you to know that I'm here for you. What kind of hallucinations? Lily. Her eyes soften and she grabs my hands. It's nothing too scary, just the little things. Confusing dreams with reality. Like how she thinks the basement flooded. Things like that. So that explains why the basement was so dry. But the other stuff. I saw the tiger too. I know that was real. What if there's a way to help? I ask. Lily. Let me handle this, and you don't worry. You just spend time enjoying your harmony and keeping her company. That's why we moved here, so you girls can enjoy her. Mom squeezes my hands. I talked to Sam about this, this last night when you were asleep, so you can discuss it with her, if that helps. This isn't going to be an, a one-time conversation. It's an ongoing dialogue. And I'm here any time to answer any questions you have. Questions claw up my throat. But I don't think mom has the answers. Hamoni said it, it, it herself. Mom doesn't believe in stories. Her world is small. But I know there's a way to help. Something that mom won't or can't see. The tiger can cure Hamoni. I wasn't brave enough before to trust her magic. But this time I will be. This time I'll be ready. The tiger said she wouldn't come to me again. So I'll have to go to her. Lucky for me, I happen to know a family of tiger hunters. Hey you guys, I'll read chapter 16 very soon. Thanks for listening.